Hello everyone, it is 26 days away from the total solar eclipse of August 21st, 2017. I've been waiting 10 years for this event, have been literally counting down the days. That's because I've seen a total solar eclipse. It happened on July 11th, 1991. It was the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. And now I want you to experience and witness what I saw uh, many, many years ago. So I wanted to provide this little YouTube video to talk about the total solar eclipse. You're going to be seeing a lot of information on national news networks now that we're getting closer and closer, less than a month away. And I wanted to make sure you are well educated on the total solar eclipse of 2017. So first of all, the anatomy of a solar eclipse. Why does a solar eclipse occur? Well, about once every 18 months across the entire Earth, there is a total solar eclipse. Now, obviously, the Earth... There's a lot of real estate to cover. So sometimes these total solar eclipses occur in very remote locations, such as uh, over the entire ocean in the southern Pacific Ocean. But the Earth uh, obviously revolves around the sun, and the moon revolves around the Earth. But there's a slight degree tilt to the moon. So as you look at that moon, uh, it doesn't always line up perfectly with the sun. So the sun uh, gets uh, blocked from the moon's shadow. We have the penumbra, which is where a lot of people will see the partial shadow. And then we've got the umbra, which is the full shadow of the uh, eclipse. That's where you'll see totality. So you want to be in the umbra. Here's some things that you need to know about this total solar eclipse. First of all, why is it exciting? Well, it's the first one in the United States since 1979. The contiguous United States, there was one in the Pacific Northwest that clipped uh, Montana, but not a lot of people saw it. And let's just say 79 is, uh, you know, <laughs> quite a long time ago. From start to finish, the total solar eclipse will be about three hours long. That's the very first contact to last contact. Now, the totality part, where you see the sun's corona and all the other special features, will be on average about two to three minutes. So it's one of the shorter total solar eclipses. But here is a very important thing. You must have protective eyewear that meets the standard for partial phases, which is ISO 12312-2. That is a uh, certified, uh, basically, re transmission requirement that they have determined back in 2015 for looking at direct sunlight. You have to make sure that you buy Eclipse glasses, and there's only four uh, production companies that make that certification uh, for um, the uh, solar shades. So you can also check out some more information on my Facebook pages as well as Twitter. So who is going to see this total solar eclipse? There's a 70 mile diameter swath through the United States running from Oregon through uh, Idaho as well as Montana, or excuse me, Wyoming. Nebraska, Montana will see partial eclipse, and so will northwest Arkansas. In fact, our area in northwest Arkansas, our viewing area is essentially about 89 to 93% uh, eclipse, which is cool, but it's not as awesome as a total solar eclipse. So, what about the information for northwest Arkansas? I wanted to provide this graphic because obviously during a blue sky, you'll start to see the sun if you're wearing those safety eclipse glasses. Uh, begin at 11.43 a.m. Now keep in mind these times will change depending on where you live. This is for the Fayetteville area. Max eclipse will be 91% total, but you'll be approximately 180 miles south of the totality area. Max eclipse will occur right around 1.12 in the afternoon. Then as we move throughout uh, the next uh, hour and a half, the eclipse will come to an end at about 2.41. So it's about a three-hour duration for the entire eclipse to take shape. Now, who is going to see the total solar eclipse? Well, that depends on if you're in the moon's umbra, which is the darker shadow of the moon. And it is just a spectacular sight to see that total darkness move over your area. Now, this is the approximate path of totality. As you saw earlier, uh, this will be making its way through north end of Kansas City, the south end of St. Louis, also through the Nashville area. Northwest Arkansas is a little bit removed from that totality line, so you must travel north about four hours to get into that totality area. What will you see if you're in the shadow of the moon's umbra? This is what you'll see. The corona. You'll also get to see Bailey's beads. A very spectacular phenomenon. Now, if you're planning on making a trip to Kansas City, the total solar eclipse will start about 1.07 in the afternoon. That's central daylight time. 
and 45 seconds to be exact. So 107 and 45 seconds in the afternoon. Totality will last approximately 2 minutes and 38 seconds in the Kansas City area. But you also get to see, besides the sun's corona, which you can only see during a total solar eclipse, you also see Bailey's beads, where the moon's terrain effects give you a little bit of a dashed line of the sun around the outer edges of the moon. You also get to see prominences and solar flares and a 360 degree sunset on the horizon. You also get to see several planets, Jupiter and Venus in the daytime sky, the diamond ring effect. It really is a once in a lifetime experience. So I definitely highly recommend if you are not in this totality line, which is rather thin and only covers a, a little portion of each state, you want to get into that totality line. The greatest eclipse will occur in western Kentucky, and then you'll have Carbondale in southern Illinois, which will be a very big uh, area for a lot of people to view this eclipse. Now, you want to make sure that you're in the eclipse path, so check out this website, nationaleclipse.com forward slash overview, to get the very latest information. Now, some of the safety uh, viewing tips when you're viewing a solar eclipse, do not look directly at the sun. No, the sun doesn't let off extra energy or power. It's just more people will be looking at the sun during a, a solar eclipse. So you want to make sure that you have that protective eyewear. Uh, sunglasses are not enough uh, sufficient protection uh, to protect your eyes from the sun. You can go blind rather quickly by looking at the sun for a long period of time. Only look at the sun through an approved solar filter on your binoculars as well as your telescope. And uh, a safer way to do that is to observe indirectly by projecting the sun's image with a pinhole or binoculars. You can also cross your fingers in a crisscross shape and you'll see little crescents uh, of, of the suns uh, on, the, on the ground. So here is a look at the next total solar eclipse. Let's say you're like Monday, August 21st. I can't get off of work. I can't get the kids out of school. Well, you'll have to wait seven years, and then there's one that slices through uh, central Arkansas. It just barely misses Fort Smith in west central Arkansas. It does go through the Dallas area, so this will be heavily talked about, but seven years you'll have to wait. So some takeaways for this total solar eclipse. You must be in the moon's umbra. That's the dark area of the moon's shadow to see totality. This is only about 70 miles in diameter. If you're on that center line, you'll get maximum totality. If you're on the southern or northern edge of that totality line, your eclipse duration will be much less. We're talking 60-70% less, sometimes even only a few seconds. And if you are just outside of that totality line, you will not see totality. It, there really is nothing like it on Earth. Approved safety glasses are a must during all partial phases, as we mentioned. Now, you also want to monitor cloud cover. This is all dependent on cloud cover and where you uh, view the eclipse. You obviously need a lack of clouds in order to see the sunshine. In a lot of places, it will be shortly during the early afternoon, so there will be those cumulus clouds bubbling up uh, during the day. So if you can, Make the trip to witness totality. I promise you it will be totally worth it. So I'll be providing more information as we get closer and closer to the eclipse. But until then, happy viewing, everyone, and have a great one.